Howdy folks, how are you today? Hello. Livy likes it when I say howdy folks, so I gotta say howdy folks. <clears throat> today I want to talk about uh, something near and dear to my heart, uh, being a father, being a parent, well yeah. primarily for me being a father. Uh, and if you do any kind of research or looking anything up online, anything like that, uh, as to how to be a good father, how to be a good dad, it's almost inevitably going to bring you back to the Bible. Uh, so today we're going to be uh, talking a little bit about the Bible and what the Bible has to say about being a good father, the things you should do and the things you shouldn't do. Okay. Uh, one of the first things I came across, it says, uh, be your child's first teacher. And then it gave a, a, a scripture. The scripture is Proverbs 22.6. Uh, 22 6 says train up a child in the way he should go and when he is old he will not depart from it I guess what that's saying is uh, you know you do the things you know you know if you grew up uh, hunting and fishing and living an outdoor life uh, as a child those are the things that you're going to be drawn to as an adult right uh, if you act as a good father to your children uh, your children will, in turn, be good parents to their kids. So, uh, yeah, be a, be your child's first teacher. That's like, that's like, that's good stuff. Like you, you always tell us when you were a kid, you used to always chop wood and stuff, and now you still yep. do today. You love yeah, I still do cut wood. Yep, I used to cut wood a lot with Grandpa, and uh, that that was our only source of heat when I was growing up was uh, a wood stove. You know, and we have a wood we had stove cut today. Wood and, uh, still today. Uh, I put a wood stove in my in our house, and uh, we still today cut wood, right? Yeah. Uh, number two thing it said: uh, dads need to exemplify a good life, which I uh, and it gives a list of scripture for that one too. It's Second uh, Corinthians uh, three verses two through three. Uh, that, that that makes sense, you know. Uh, if if they see you leading a good, happy life, your kids are going to want to lead a good, happy life. But just like the the first one, uh, whatever they learn from you, they're gonna. Mm -hmm in turn do as well right if yep. i if i'm a grump and mean and grouchy to you you're going to be a grump and mean and grouchy mm -hmm. to other people right mm -hmm. where if i'm kind and loving and teaching you know you're going to be kind and loving to teaching and so that that makes sense right yep total sense uh number three uh it says uh provide for your family and it lists first timothy verse five or chapter five verse eight. First timothy five eight says uh, anyone who does not provide for their relatives and especially for their own household has denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever now, that's big that's Huge. I mean the whole Bible the Bible the basis of the Bible is faith right yeah, pretty much. Uh, it, it, in believers in, in the faith of the Bible right uh, and it says that if you don't provide for your family, that is worse than an unbeliever. I mean, for that, I mean, that just shows you the, the core of the Bible right there, I believe. It's uh, goodness, uh, helping, taking care of your family, you know. And it's not just your immediate family, your immediate household. It's uh, It says your whole family, you know, you take care. Anyone who does not provide for their relatives... And especially for their own household, so it's not just your own house; it's it's your other relatives, you know, aunts, uncles, cousins, uh, brothers, uh, yeah, obviously siblings, and so yeah, it's it's your your responsibility uh, as a father to uh, do the best you can by your entire family, you know. That, that's a big one. I, I like that one a lot. Uh, the next one it says. Uh, Good dads discipline their children. Now we've all uh, we've all heard this one. Uh, don't spare the rod and spoil the child. Uh, that does not mean beat your kids, right? Uh, if you actually read the the, the verse and chapters, uh, Proverbs thirteen twenty four, and it reads, "Whoever spares the rod hates their children, but the one who loves their children is careful to discipline them." Right. Yeah. I think uh, there, there was another one that spoke similar to this in, uh, I think what, the, 
you don't want to discipline you want to discipline your child uh, to teach them you don't want to discipline them to hurt them you know uh, it's like I talked a little bit ago about turn the other cheek if somebody slaps you in the face it's usually to get your attention you know you're not understanding what they're trying to convey so they slap you in the face to try to get your attention and then you stop you know it's, you, you're thinking about it uh, don't punish your children out of anger if you feel that you're angry at your child and you want to physically lash out at them you need to walk away from the situation cool off think it through and then if it's still deemed necessary then uh discipline the child and the, the, the disciplinary action after you've cooled down is going to be much much less guaranteed and th that's the anger that you don't want to discipline your child with yeah. <clears throat> you know that's that's not beneficial for you or the child <clears throat> So I, I like that one there too. This is uh, loves your children is careful to discipline discipline your child. Now you got to do it with a a level head, you know. Make sure that the punishment suits the crime. Yeah. Right. Moving right along. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse you. It says uh, <coughs> dad spend time with your children. And it's not empty time. This is uh, Deuteronomy 6, verses 6 through 9. Uh, current times, this this holds a lot of weight right here. Uh, if you're just hanging out with your kids, but you're not actually talking to them, yeah. you're not interacting with them, you're not tickling them or poking them or kissing them or hugging them, you know, if you're not interacting with them, yeah, it's, it's just empty time. It's meaningless. It's, it's pointless, you know. You might as well be somewhere else doing something else, you know. Uh, so it's not just that you're spending time with your kids. It's got to be quality time with your kids, right? Right? Mm -hmm. Right? Right? Actually <laughs> interacting. Right. You got to actually be interacting with them and talking with them yeah, and yeah, joking can't... around and playing and learning, making videos, doing all kinds of yeah, stuff, you right? you can't just be sitting there playing on your phone next to them and saying you're hanging out right, with them. Right, right. You know, it's like, like you said, if you're sitting there playing on your phone and I'm playing on my phone, we're not doing anything. No. Right? You're playing on your phone and I'm playing on my phone. There's a big difference, right? There's no quality time there. Uh, and then just another line that I, I found <clears throat> says, uh, compassion is a dad characteristic. There's no verse or anything for that one. It's just something that I came across that, that uh, struck a chord with me and I, I thought it was something big something uh worth mentioning compassion is a dad characteristic you know i think a lot of times uh dads especially dads get caught up in trying to man them up and make them tough and teach the hard knocks of life you know and uh, there's a place i guess for it you know you don't you don't want your kid to get walked all over but at the same time like like this sentence here says uh, compassion is a dad characteristic it's good to show your boys love and give them hugs and tuck them in and all that stuff you know it's a it's a dad characteristic it's a good thing it's good for you and your kid it's it's awesome now moving right along it says put your money where your mouth is <laughs> i'm making a video about it so now i gotta do it right you know putting my money where my mouth is you know <clears throat> there's actually a verse for that one it's uh james uh, 1 verse 22 uh, next one is uh, don't provoke your children that's Ephesians say it Nate Ephesians Ephesians that's a fun one for Ephesians. Nate to say we had to practice that today Ephesians 6-4 yeah, uh, fathers are commanded not to agitate or irritate their children in practice, this means avoiding unfair and cruel behavior or blatant favorism. Yep. Now, if you think about what those things are, those are things that uh, they can be learned from, but they're not something that is going to teach them positive behavior, right? Yeah. Uh, if, you're, if you're just simply cruel, you know, you, you're just mean to your child, that's teaching them that it's okay to be mean to other children or to their children, right? I don't want my grandkids to get picked on or be made fun of or get whooped on, you know. So I'm not going to do that stuff to you guys, right? I don't want you to treat your kids like that. 
and uh, unfair and cruel behavior or blatant favorism. Yeah. You know, uh, I mean, you know what favoritism is. You treat one kid better than the other, and yeah. you do it on purpose for whatever reason. You know, uh, maybe you're just an asshole or whatever, and you, you don't like a kid, you know, and but that's, you, you can't do, do that. that. You can't do that, no. Uh, I look at raising kids as one of the the greatest things I've been able to do. It's not something I have to do. It's something I get to do. Yeah. You know, I get to mold you guys and shape you and, and make <laughs> you into, uh, you know, you're going to, like we went over earlier, you're going to do the things that you learn from me, right? Yeah. So the things that I teach you are the things that you're going to grow on and make uh, better in your lives, you know? Yeah. Uh, here's another one that's a big one. Uh, dads never give up on their kids. That's uh, Luke 15, verses 20 through 24. Uh, there was a lot on this in the Bible. and You can read that on your own. Uh, I kind of nutshelled it for myself, make it kind of compressed it and smaller. Yeah. I simply want to say a son will leave out of anger. He's going to, he, as he gets older, he, you know, testosterone is going to kick in. Uh, the father and the son aren't going to get along. They're going to get in an argument. It's, it's classic, you know, alpha male type stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're competing for dominance in the house. Uh, the son will lose. Uh, he's going to leave the house. He's going to be angry. He's going to be pissed. You know, he's going to cuss you out, maybe break shit, whatever. He's going to leave. He's yeah. going to leave out of anger. Uh, and that's where the father, that's when he needs to get, and the son's going to come back. He's going to come oh, back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when he does come back, that's when the father needs to rejoice. Not re-spark that anger and that hatred and that bitterness. Uh, just a little bit ago, we were talking about... Like forgiving and forgetting. Forgiving, forgiving and forgetting. forgetting, yeah. Uh, we were talking about uh, not agitating or irritating uh, your child. You know, uh, you don't want to... When, when your son does come back, uh, you don't want to re rehash all that anger and hatred. Mm -hmm. uh you want to celebrate and rejoice in the fact that you get to see your kid. Yeah. You know, your son's back home again, right? And uh, that, that's a great thing, you know? Yeah. So never give up on your kids. Always, always have love and show compassion for your kids, you know, even in their adult lives, right? Mm hmm No matter what happens, always love your children. Yeah. And always. then, uh, always, always, always. lastly, uh, it says dads pray for their children. That's... First Chronicles twenty nine nineteen. I mean, that only makes good sense, right? When you pray, you pray for good things. You don't pray yeah. for bad things, right. right? Yeah, when you pray, you, uh, mm -hmm. you know, help me on my test at school or, yeah. uh, you know, help me in this situation. You, 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 when you pray, you pray for good, positive things, right? Yeah. You don't pray for, oh, I hope I wreck my car or I hope I bomb that test. or So to pray for your kids... It only makes sense. You want the good, the best things in life for your kids, right? Yeah. So it makes sense to pray for your kids, you know, when, when you're going to bed at night, you know, and you get all tucked in, you're comfy laying there in bed, and you're kind of thinking mental thoughts before you go to sleep, you know, and oh, and yeah. uh, say a little prayer. Say, hey, I hope my kids do great in school, and, you know, they're, they become well-adjusted parents. Because the things that you think will be manifested in yours and their lives because i mean you, in your behavior in your and behavior everything. sure absolutely the things you think are the things that are going to guide your yeah. life right i think that's pretty much all i got for uh right now didn't you prepare something you got something to say bub yeah uh children obey your parents in the lord for this is right um so that basically means when uh you're supposed to obey your parents but you're only supposed to obey your parents um if they're telling you to like to to do good like if they're yeah. telling you to obey in the name of the Lord so if they're telling yeah. you to obey uh because the bible is pretty much basically good stuff right so they're not going to have you if they're if they're telling you to do something in the name of the Lord that means they're having you do something for good reason or something that is good, yeah. right? Uh, the Bible's not going to tell you go kill your neighbor, right? No, no. So if your if your father says go kill your neighbor, that's not 
something that's in the name of the Lord, right? Yeah. That so in that case, obey. right. So in that case, you, you probably shouldn't obey. You know, that's why you should only obey in the name of the Lord. That's a big part in that sentence, in the name of the Lord. I, I, yep. Good stuff. What do you, what, is that it or you got more? Uh, yeah, that's it. No, it's not. Yes, it is. That's literally all I wrote down. Oh, you didn't write it all down? No, I didn't. I didn't have enough time to. Yeah, so like if, like in the name of the Lord, I think I agree with you on that when you said it's a big part because if it just says <clears throat> obey your parents, like you said, if they tell you to go kill the person walking down the street, you probably shouldn't obey. Right. But in the name of the Lord, yeah, I agree with you on that. Peace. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Hit the like button and leave a comment. Peace. Peace. <laughs>